So we're group number four, the community cookie cutter, uh, which is just myself and Malvika after we had a couple of people drop out, unfortunately. Um, so the idea with this was to empower new project leaders and people who are trying to build very ad hoc communities online very quickly, such as responding to COVID-19, but by no means limited to that. And to try and make it slightly more interactive and fun while still making sure they do all the things they need to do to form a new community. So we were trying to make it novel by having a nice accessible guidance that they could have that would help them build a um, good online sustainable community following all the best practice that we all know about. So try to make that creative and cool by having an interactive Jupyter Notebooks, make it feel a bit more 21st century than just a um, static document that sat on a web page somewhere. We're hoping this will be useful because anyone without prior community management experience can use this to lead an effective community and get it going very quickly. So we've kind of had two parallel development threads going on. Malvika has been working on building a Google form that tries to capture the best practice from the open life science, the Mozilla open leaders, and Alex's 10 rules um, for forming a community. And she's built a nice Google form that captures all of these things together and basically has a lot of tick boxes to make sure that you do the right things um, for each of those stages. And if anyone wants to see it, that form is online. I've got a set of links at the end with all of this in it. I've been working in parallel on trying to turn that form into a Jupyter Notebook and trying to get Jupyter Notebooks to play nicely with the Cheering Way document. So I started with a local um, Jupyter Notebook on my machine using the IPython widgets set. From that, I can make basic sliders and drop downs and tick boxes and all the sort of standard controls you get in any graphical application. I then push that off to my own GitHub and GitHub does a, a very crude rendering of it, but it doesn't let you really interact with anything because it's not running it live. Then I exported the HTML from that and was able to actually get not the best looking form, but a, a working form that would run on my computer um, from the um, notebook with all the code hidden. So it's just showing you the questions it wants to ask. It does need a bit more work on the formatting, but this is just the first couple of sets of questions that came out of the Google Doc. I then embedded that HTML in the Cheering Way book, and it turned out that I was struggling to get it to actually take a straight IPython file, which it's supposed to be able to do as it's a Jupyter book, but seems there's some interaction that needs to be done with binder that we haven't quite got set up right. And as far as I could tell, we we're actually the first to attempt to do this in the Turing way, although it is a supposedly supported feature. But it didn't quite work as according to plan, so we ended up pasting in this HTML, which then goes through a Travis CI bot, and Travis fortunately accepts in most of the cases. It's accepted the final version. And then if you go to the correct page in the Turing way, you will actually see this form. Um, unfortunately, there's a slight rendering problem that none of my tick boxes are showing, and this isn't currently interactive. It's just showing the raw um, form. We need to get the binder back end working properly before this would be truly interactive. So finally, if you've got um, any further interest in this, the link for the um, notebook that I've written is there on the first one. The link to the preview of the Turing Way book where the form is appearing is the second, and then Google Form is on the third. <laughs>